Hey, it's Kevin from The Joy of Trucking. We're here at Matt's 2024 in Louisville, Kentucky. A lot of our people tell us, while you're at the show, you gotta meet this guy, Super Trucker Dan, the famous YouTuber. <laughs> this, is his, this is his 2021 Peterbilt? Nope, 2001. Oh, 2001. 2001. This goes way back. Yeah. This is old yeah. school. All the good <laughs> stuff on this truck and his ginormous sleeper here. <laughs> Yeah, and we were just we were just looking over his truck and talking about about what he's doing and uh, swapping stories. We met last year. You guys came out last yeah. year. We talked last year. Met. I showed you all the equipment you and sure camera yep. equipment and oh, everything. Yeah. So and uh, I watch your channel too. Get to see what you guys are up to. And we were having a uh, conversation. He got you guys got a new truck, and uh, and we were talking about the difference between an owner operator and a company driver. Right. And I said, well, you know, as a company driver. If your truck breaks, you just call them up and say, hey, your truck's broken, you need to come and fix it. As an owner operator, when my truck breaks, I go, oh my goodness, how much is this gonna cost me today? Mm -hmm. So that's one of the biggest difference between an owner operator and a company guy. Yeah, and you, you drive for Mercer. Yes. Yeah. So are they all owner operators or do they have a fleet? No, no, Mercer does not own any equipment. Wow. We're all owner operators. That's different. Mercer. Yeah. That's different. You work off a load board? Yes. So I, have, I, company... I, I have a dispatcher yeah. and uh, what well, they call them coordinators. Okay. Uh, coordinator, I tell her what I want to do, what I don't want to do. She ent enters that information into her computer. Whatever the computer spits back and says, hey, you're matched to this, this, and this. Okay, so you don't have to go to a load board and look at 2,000 no, different things. No. To, uh, uh, that, you know, that's her job. She'll she, narrow it right down. She narrows it down. She'll call me up and say, hey, you're matched to this load. Do you want to do it? Yes or no? And uh, yes or no? And that's easy. Easy. But you can say no and they'll oh, find you something no. else? I could say no a thousand times and they yeah. don't hold it against you. There's nothing. Oh, well, if you don't do it, you're going to the bottom of the list. Right? That's one thing I like about Mercer. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and now how, how long do you usually stay out? So I usually stay out about three or four weeks at a time. And that's by choice. I, I prefer to stay out a longer time and stay home a longer time then stay out short time, stay home a little time. I feel like it's almost a mini vacation when I go home. I usually nice. take off about 10, 10 to 14 days. Good for you, good for you. Who's riding shotgun? Bailey, she's up in there. <laughs> Let's go that. say hi to she Bailey. You got a constant companion. Oh uh, yeah. Hey Bailey. There she is. There she is. <laughs> it's like a corgi. Yeah, a little corgi. She's a star, so well behaved. We got yes. to pet her last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. So now listen, for the for the viewers of The Joy of Trucking, who might, for some strange reason, not come across your channel yet, uh, what, do you, what do you show people on your channel? What's your whole, you know, your intention with your channel? So my channel, I never really meant to be like a how-to guy. This is a how to be a truck driver. My channel was just, this is what I'm doing today. The life in of a truck, of an owner-operator. And that's more of what I'm geared to is this, I wake up, this is what we're gonna do today. We'll see how much we're gonna get accomplished and uh, we'll call it a day. So not really necessarily, hey, this is how to be a truck driver. This is the way you should drive a truck or anything like that. Now you, you're a flat better. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I do flatbed. So you gotta do the chaining, and the tarping, and at, strapping. I, I look at all of that as tarping as exercise. Right, right. And I need the exercise, so, uh, I, uh, it, it's more exercise to me than work because yeah, I'm a big boy and I need the exercise. <laughs> you got to get out of the truck yeah, and move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, how long does it take this to get a load all settled in and, and covered up? Usually tarping takes about 30, 30 minutes to an hour oh, to tarp a load and securing. So uh, depending on how involved it is, what I got to tarp, adding and stuff like that. Sometimes nice square loads, you can knock it out in 30 minutes and be out of there. Some wow. loads I've been there a couple hours, you know, and still working at it. Mm -hmm. so, and one thing I like about your channel and what you were so nice enough to show us last year, were, you know, you use several cameras and then really put a lot of time into the editing and splicing of different angles. And you were telling us you even have a camera in the back when you, you know, so you can yeah. see when you're tarping. Hey, a lot of people like to see what's going on back there. And when the opportunity comes up, I try to set the camera up. Sometimes I hit the ground running 
and I just don't have time. I don't have a camera crew, mm -hmm. so I, you yeah, know, you I got to do it all I, yourself. Yeah, so I hit the ground running and just don't have time to. Uh, you need a time. You know. Yes, <laughs> yes. I can follow you around, <laughs> and ask questions all day. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can clone me, and then you, you, can, you can take my clone with you. you now, how long have you been a truck driver? Uh, thirty-two years now. Going on thirty-two. Wow. Years. Congratulations. Yeah, so That's fantastic. I hit a million miles with Mercer last year, sometime last year. I don't know the exact date, but sometime last year I hit a million miles with mm -hmm. Mercer. Like a sticker? Yeah, I got a little I got a little million miles sticker on there. Right. So, right. so and I got a jacket and everything. Oh nice. So that's a million miles with Mercer. I probably in my career have probably about three million miles. So right around. And around. what is your career path in trucking? How did you but, get to this? Oh, well, as a little boy, I loved trucks, and that's how I started. I went in the Army. I did some time in the Army. I got out of the Army and uh, wanted to drive a truck. I got lucky, knew somebody that knew somebody, and uh, I was a company driver for about 10 years. And then in 2001, I bought my uh, first truck and became an owner-operator. So, uh, owner-operator. So I really, I, I, didn't come to be an operator thinking I was going to make a lot of money. I drive a truck and owner operator because I enjoy and I have fun driving a truck, maintaining a truck, working on a truck, and stuff like that. It, the old cliche: if you're having fun, it's not work. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's a lot of fun. Now, I have bad days, but but I have <laughs> like more. You're doing. I have more good days than bad days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's trucking. Hell yeah. Yeah, we came up with a little uh, a little thing that's a s snotter situation normal, OTR. Oh. <laughs> so, you know, kind of like a play on the snafu thing, but it is trucking. So weird things happen. And I find with Kevin, you know, it's how, the attitude you bring to it and learning from it. And then just, you know, just getting beyond it and back to the joy. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I, we see that in, in you and your videos too. And we and think that's too, a, a good thing. I travel, my wife used to travel with me several years ago and you guys traveling together, mm -hmm. seeing things together, doing things together. It's awesome. I, it, it, it is, it's a lot of fun yeah. to do that. I, I did that with my wife and I had a lot of fun yeah. doing that. It's yeah. a great thing to share Sharing as a couple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we really want to thank you for talking with us and it's great to see you again. And I know, you know, anyone on our channel, if you have not checked out Super Trucker Dan's channel, you got to go check it out. Uh, we appreciate the time talking to us and letting us uh, do a little video together. And yeah, have fun at the show. All right. Good to see you here. Good and to I, you guys I know again. there's more fans who are lining up <laughs> to, to meet you. <laughs> I'm gonna kiss him. Oh my god. Oh well I wanna get that on camera. <laughs> My wife wants me to get a picture of him and me together. Absolutely. I did got it last year. I want to get it signed, but I don't know how to do it. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. We'll let you go. Thank you so much. All and, right. Uh, Good seeing you guys. Nice to work. Here too. we go. <laughs> Bye. Right, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, Dan. Just, just, uh, yeah. The advantage I have is that I pull the same trailer. Yes. So, another trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I think you guys do a lot of drop and hooks. Hook. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah, so that's fabulous. So being able to, uh, and after a while, it gets caked around the edges. Yeah. It starts dropping on other things. You, you can't, you can't go near it. You oh, you keep like you just look at it. And it's all over you. Yeah, grease jumps oh, on fabulous. it. That's fabulous. Yeah, yeah. So if you replace the actual coating every now and then. Like yeah, it must wear down. So there's the the, the pad. What yeah. you can see how it's raised up. Yeah. The pad, it, it's got bolts underneath there. The way it's okay. designed, and you can re replace the pad right there. What do you, what do you, like a year or two, maybe? That's been on there, man. I want to say that's probably been on there about four years. So it, it doesn't wear whatever it's made out of. Is, uh, I just learned something good. today. That's why I like coming here. You see, you see all this different stuff. That's yeah. great. Yeah. I want one. And the aluminum fifth wheel saves on weight too. That's true. That's true. Did you do a painting from from it? So, oh, 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 so you, you have the dimensions, the right dimensions for the flag or for the, the interior? Not only for the flag, but for the whole box. Oh no! So this truck is uh, it's a 2001. So, oh. so this truck's 23 years old. Okay. And I bought it about four years ago. So back when it was made in 2001, 
it's a double eagle sleeper. They're not in business anymore. Oh, okay. But the manufacturer of the sleeper, the company's called Double Eagle. The truck, the manufacturer of the truck and the frame is Peterbilt. And uh, but Double Eagle did what you're talking about. Had the the the, the dimensions for the the bed and the shower and everything yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you make any changes after you bought it? Yes, I did. So I know you got an office in, in, in this area right here. So for this area, the bed, the bed is right here. Yeah. If you can imagine the bed right here. Yeah. There's cabinets across the top wall up there. This area right here where that little door is, this is a shower and a, a bathroom. Shower. Yeah. You got a shower. Yeah. So, so, so very this, nice. Yeah. This is a shower and a bathroom right here. Yeah. And then when I bought it, it had a, a, like a closet right in this area right here. Yeah. Okay. I took the closet out and I put in a little workstation, a little desk. Oh, okay. So I can do, I do videos and stuff like these yeah, guys. Yeah, I already yeah, knew. Yeah. Uh, so I, I can sit down and do my editing and oh, stuff like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of the truck, if you walk to the other side, underneath where the window is, is the kitchen sink. They got a sink and everything. Mm -hmm. And there's a refrigerator and microwave and all that. You could this survive in this. So, and then if you really want to, go down, down here and go show them the We're ARI going. booth. We're going. And <laughs> so, so this truck, this truck's 24 years old. And you go look at these new trucks down here, and you're probably in the neighborhood of about 450 to $500,000 oh, okay. for, for these trucks right down there. Yeah, yeah. But it seems like you could survive in this. Uh... Oh, Having yeah. a shower and a bathroom is everything. Yeah. It, uh, it is a life changer, yeah, yeah. being able to uh, have a shower and a bathroom. Again, we just want to give a big shout out and thank you to Super Trucker Dan for taking the time to, to speak with us at Matt's 2024. We hope that you enjoyed the interview. Uh, so if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Put your comments and questions below. Hey, what do you think of Bailey? She is such a cutie. What do you think of this truck? <laughs> do you follow Super Trucker Dan on YouTube? Let us know in the comments. And also, if you want to keep traveling with us, uh, discovering the roads of America, learning about trucking, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. With that, we wish you a great day with love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye.